Hello and welcome back to my floss tube. If you are a returning viewer, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Mary. This is my channel where I talk about um, cross stitch and anything else I can think of. Um, if you are a returning viewer, you may notice that um, one, I have a different hair color. <laughs> I dyed my hair for the first time and it's different. <laughs> it looks black, but up close, it's just a very, very dark brown. Um, I really like it, but it does definitely take some getting used to. So I had this done literally yesterday. Hasn't even been 24 hours. <laughs> so yep, that's, that's new. Um, I did not have a video last week because, um, it's really busy. Um, I'm a full-time attorney, which is also why I am dressed up today with makeup on. And um, I, I had a bunch of stuff to do for work. And then um, on Friday, my kids were home sick. So I just did not have time to film. But that means we got lots to talk about today. So one thing I wanted to mention, because I mentioned this in my first video, um, I did the very first like big project that I did was when I was in high school. Um, and I did um, this one for my grandma and um, I didn't really have the best picture to show last time, but I thought I did not have the pattern anymore and I do. I found it in my box and it was at the very, very bottom. No wonder I didn't see it before. So it's this book, um, Love, Life and Laughter by Leisure Arts. I don't know anything about this company. It has really cute designs so. though. Um, so this is the one that I did for my grandma. So it's a little boy and a girl playing in the rain. And then it has Psalms 118.24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Or whatever it is. I always get the words mixed up. But this was her favorite verse. And then this represented my mom and my uncle. So this is what I did, um, and uh, so if you saw my first video, here's a better view of that one. Um, so let's see, we will start with whips, which are works in progress. Um, I will try to explain all the different acronyms as we go along because I know not everybody watches FlossTube. This may be your first video. Um, I know, sorry, I have like mascara in my eyes. Um, I know like my mom watches my videos and she might not know all the different things. So works in progress. What am I working on? Well, I'll show you first my Irish blessing, which I am keeping in my Jack and Sally bag from Etsy. So this is what it's going to look like. And this is how far I got. So I think last time I hadn't quite finished the black border. So I finished the whole black border and I started on this. I did not make a ton of progress on this, which you will find out why in a few minutes. Um, but that's, that's where we're at. Um, so the words are primarily done except for the few letters that got cut off from the Q-snap and then the border. So I'm excited with how it's coming along. I decided to do this part next because I felt like it was gonna take a while. Um, so, and I started with colors that, these are the colors only in this part and nowhere else. So I just wanted to like get them out of the way um, and then be done with them. So that's where I am on that one. Um, and this one, again, I'm making as a gift for my stepdad's mom. So the goal is to have it done by like beginning of December, hopefully, so that I can get it framed. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so the next one, it's not really um, a huge start, but I wanted to get it started so that I knew where the middle was so that when I did like fully start working on it, um, 
I didn't have to go through the whole rigmarole of finding the middle again. So this is Farmhouse Christmas. I don't have a picture of the of the whole thing um, because it's just a bunch of like individual patterns, but this is by Little House Needleworks. This is the very centerpiece, which is grandma's quilt. And literally all I've done, I got this big thing of fabric. All I've done is this little bit, <laughs> just the very center of this. So yeah, I just wanted to find the center and start working on it so that it made it a little bit easier to work on it when I actually want to start dedicating more time to it. So um, this is just a very, very early, early whip. <laughs> and this one I am keeping in my Harry Potter bag from Etsy. Um, this fabric is 16 count natural light Ada. I'm trying to remember where it's from. I got it from 123 Stitch and it's either Fabric Flare or Picture This Plus. I want to say it's Fabric Flare. So um, yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice color. I like that. Okay. So the reason I haven't worked a lot on my Irish Blessing is because I did a little mini um, project, which I'll talk about in finishes, and then I decided to do my first stitch along, which is called a sow for short. So um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch, oh, I don't have the actual picture. Oh well. Um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch is a UK-based um, cross stitch company and they are doing a stitch along um, that's Christmas themed. They have one that they did last year that was fall themed and so it's basically a tree and like the tree part is just a mish mishmash of like leaves and animals and stuff and so um, she's doing this one this again this year but winter themed called Hello Dear. And so this is the first part and I originally was not going to do this. I was going to do this next year when I do Hello Pumpkin, which is the fall one. But when the first part came out, I saw it and was like, I need to do that. <laughs> I need to. So um, I was thinking about doing it. And then Sally sent out, Sally is the designer. She sent out a 20% off coupon that was like good for only like one day. And I was like, perfect. I'm going to buy it. So um, I like bought it at three o'clock in the morning while I was feeding my five month old and then bought the floss that day, the fabric that day, and then started working on it that night. So this is part one. Um, the picture is over yonder and I only have the pattern with me so I can't show it to you. But this is where we're at on part one. All that I have left are the rest of the like floral stuff up here which is not much. I think it's maybe like another one of these types of branches. And then the cardinal, there's a cardinal that goes right here. Um, I'm saving him for last because it's a lot of color blocking and the confetti and all of the leaves and stuff I knew would take me so much longer and I just wanted to get it out of the way. But it is such a fun stitch. I love these colors. They're like the perfect winter hues. They're so pretty. And I am not the neatest when it comes to backs, like I, I have a tendency to just kind of jump around. And I decided for this one, I really wanted to work on my backs and making them look nice and not sloppy. Look how nice this is. This is my back. <laughs> I'm so proud of this. <laughs> I know it's a strange thing to be proud of, but I'm proud of it. <laughs> Um, so I'm keeping this project in um, the my newest project bag that when I saw it I was like I have to buy this it is well okay wait I don't want to show the pattern this is the front so we got the vinyl love it I don't normally keep my threads this messy I just haven't put them in bags yet but look at this it's 
London themed. I love London. London is the only place that I've been in Europe. I went in high school. I have a huge obses obsession with London and Paris. So when I saw this, I was like, and it comes with, it came with a little mini one. I love it. I love it so much. Um, so that's what I'm keeping on. I just need to put my, my threads in here. I've been keeping my other things like my scissors and needle minders in here, but I just need to, you know, put it all together so it looks nice, but how pretty. I love this. And okay, so I bought this off, off Etsy. I bought this at like, I don't know, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning, something like that. By 10 o'clock in the morning, I had a shipping notification and I got it like a couple days later and this came from Canada. That's amazing. I was not expecting it to be that quick. So um, I will link this, this girl's Etsy shop down below and the other one for my other project bags down below. Um, highly recommend. This was amazing. And I just ordered another project bag. Speaking of being obsessed with London, Paris, I can't wait till that one comes in because it's Paris themed. And that project bag um, Etsy shop has some of the cutest bags I have ever seen. So I'm gonna link hers down below, even though I don't have it yet. Um, like just go check hers out because she has some of the cutest stuff. So then, I haven't started it yet, but I've talked about it. This is the one that I'm doing for my best friend, the Sugar is Sweet Sampler. I'm calling this the Paul Hollywood Project because we are replacing the alphabet with um, a quote that says, you deserve a Paul Hollywood handshake. And if you watch the Great British Baking Show, I think that's what it is, Great British Baking Show, yeah, where he is a judge on it, you'll, you'll understand that what a Paul Hollywood um, handshake means. So, um, this is for my best friend. The only thing is she does not like pink. Um, so I spent a lot of time picking out the different flosses, um, and, and like laying them all out on the floor, um, trying to get all of them to like match and be cohesive. And so I have them all in this little thing. So we have like browns and stuff with the purples, but look at this, look at this teal. How, this is her favorite color. Her favorite color is teal, which is why we wanted to go with teals and blues. This teal is literally the exact shade of teal that is her favorite. So I basically planned everything around this shade of teal. This is number DMC 3808. Love, love, love. Um, and then we have like a lighter medium blue. Um, oh, I'm using the light blue that's out of here in Hello Dear. And then we have some greens and then some peaches to go along and some light pinks. So um, I'm really excited. I haven't started it yet, but I did buy the floss, so that's why I wanted to share it. I'm really excited for this one. Um, I also think I'm going to start like a schedule so that I work on certain projects on certain days. So like, I think I'm gonna do my Paul Hollywood as my weekend project. And so all the stitching that I can get done on a Saturday and Sunday will be dedicated to this um, so that I can get it done for her in a semi-reasonable amount of time. And then during the week, work on like Hello Dear, Farmhouse Christmas, and then any other mini projects I wanna do. Um, so that's it for whips. Finishes, this is where I got a lot. To talk about. So, the reason I um, put down my Irish blessing was because I decided to do this little mini project. Um, my sister has three cats, and a few weeks ago, one of them passed away from cancer. She had surgery and she just couldn't recover. So, my niece, who's 15, was 
obviously distraught about it. And I thought, you know, I just wanted to do a little something. Obviously, it's not going to make her feel better about losing her cat, but um, just a little something to show her that I care and that I miss her and things like that. And if you hear a leaf blower outside, I apologize. <laughs> they are doing gardening right now. Um, so I was trying to find the perfect cat um, pattern, something that was not too small, not too big, and not too detailed because I wanted to be able to do it very quickly. Um, I think I finished this in about six hours of stitching, maybe less. Um, I This Just Cross Stitch Halloween um, magazine edition, I found this. This is a Doreen Jones pattern. And at first, you know, I just kind of passed by it because I was like, that's too big. But then I was like, wait a minute, this cat is perfect because this cat looks exactly like Cora, which is the cat that passed away. And so I was like, okay, great. So I just pulled out the colors for the cat and went and grabbed those because I don't think I had any of them except black. And, um, and I just used some fabric that I had in my stash and I whipped up a little mini Cora. How cute is that? I I love how this turned out. Um, and I just finished it in a purple hoop. And um, I didn't want the back to show, so I just put on some fabric. Um, but how cute is that? So I spent a couple days stitching, you know, a couple hours a day, this little guy. So I'm really happy how it turned out. And now that I've showed it to you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and send it to her. Um, they're thinking about coming for Thanksgiving and I kind of hope that they do because I really miss them and in general human contact with, you know, people. <laughs> okay, so then my next FFO, finally fully finished object. I call it finally finished object because it usually takes me a while to finish them. Um, I talked about these last time. This is a little set that I'm giving as a gift, um, as a wedding gift um, to one of my coworkers who's getting married on Saturday. And I'm gonna drop it off and put it on her desk so that she can just get it whenever she comes back to work. And um, so I added the dates. I finished the tractor and I added the dates to them. So this is the tractor. This is the date that they got engaged, which is October 24th, 2018. And I chose to do the um, tractor for this date because they got engaged while they were picking cotton on her fiance's farm. So I thought the tractor would be the best one for that. And then this is the barn and the date is their wedding date, October 10th, 2020. And um, again, picked that because I thought that would be the most fitting for their wedding. <sighs> so these frames that I chose, I got them at Joann's. This wood part, oh, and I finished both of them the same way with fabric on the back. This wood part is rubber and I'm not gonna take it off because it is a beast to put these together. It just stretches over a plastic part and it just kind of nestles in the groove of the plastic. Um, I don't know if I'll ever purchase these again. I love how they look. They are so cute, but they are just, they are hard to work with. And maybe I would do it again if the right project like really needed it. But otherwise, these are just very hard to work with. I like how they look. I think they will be so cute. You know, if she wants to hang them on her wall, use them as ornaments, whatever, they're gonna look so cute. But I think I was on the phone with my mom for an hour the other day. I spent the, almost the entire hour just trying to get them in the hoop with trying to cut it so that it was like not showing on the edges. But I mean, it is what it is. I like the way that they turned out. Um, my last FFO is not 
it's semi finished. Um, so Sleepy Hollow, I have this. And so these are just the fabrics on sticky board and um, it's really bright. So the fabrics from Joann's, which I'll show you in a second, um, a bigger piece of it so you can really see it. Um, I'm going to put it in this frame, which in this previously, I had this one. And the reason I didn't show this before was because it was packed away with all my Halloween and my fall stuff, but now that I've opened it all up and decorated, I was able to find this again. This was from a kit from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, one of those. Um, so the kit, it came with white fabric and a buttload of black floss. And I saw that and I was like, heck no. I showed my mom the kit when we were in the store and she looked at it and she's like, why don't you just get black fabric and then you don't have to do the black. And I was like, oh, <laughs> genius. So um, that is, <laughs> that's what I did. Um, so none of that black is stitched because, oh Lord, that would have been rough. Um, but I think this is so cute. So I'm gonna try to figure out something else to do with this um, because I really like it and I wanna be able to display it some other way. Maybe put it on my desk at work next year because obviously can't do it this year. We're not working in the office. Um, so, so that was in this frame and it was really cute. But I decided to take it out and then put Sleepy Hollow in here. The only reason it's not in here right now is because the glass is glued to the frame. So I was going to smash it myself, but I figured that might not be the best idea. So um, I'm going to wait until my husband has this next day off and have him help me so I don't hurt myself. Because <laughs> that would not be good. And the fabric that I used for the backing on Sleepy Hollow is from Joann's. It's this one, which is the same one that I used on the cat and the tractor in the barn. And then this one, which you can't see as well, but it's like roses and spider webs, blue roses and spider webs. I think it's so pretty. So I spent so much time trying to pick out fabric that would work for Sleepy Hollow. And what I realized was throwing me off that I, I probably won't use again is that this Ada is such a strange color blue. And I mean, I like it. I think it looks good with the whole pattern, but it just, it was hard to find fabric to match it. So um, I don't know what else I would use this like antique vintage blue for. Um, these aren't, these aren't glued down. <laughs> I ran out of hot glue before I could. Um, so I don't know what else I'll use the blue for. I only have a little bit left and it's like enough to do a very mini project. Um, so, and I just hot glued it to the sticky board. All of these, very easy to do. Um, I learned how to do it watching several YouTube videos, um, teaching you how to do ornaments. I just don't do the, the batting or the interfacing. So um, the other thing that I'm trying to decide with this, let me put it back together, is if I want to add some rickrack. Um, I originally only had the gray, but I thought that was kind of like too much gray. Um, so I bought a bunch of rickrack. Um, I bought gray, red, navy blue, white, green, purple, and black. Um, I knew that I would use red, white, and blue, and black at some point, um, and green for like Christmas and 4th of July stuff. So I had no problem buying that. And um, I think I picked this stuff up at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just trying to decide if I wanna add some, maybe purple. Purple might look nice or white. Black I think is gonna fade 
into it. I feel like gray is going to fade into it. Um, so maybe some purple and white, like purple along this edge and white along this edge. I don't know. I've got to play with it. But that's currently what I'm deciding and I'll have to figure that out before I put it into the frame. So that, I guess that takes us into our haul section. So I bought these. I bought the fabric and then I found the ornament edition of this year's Just Cross Stitch magazine. I'm very excited for this. I went through this, um, I mean I've looked through it several times, but I went through it more extensively um, was it a couple nights ago to look at ones that I want to do this year. Um, let's see if I can find, oh, this will probably be like the first one I do. This Santa by Autumn Lane Stitchery. I love him. Um, I've seen somebody on Instagram who instead of the red up here and down here, they did like a, a green. So it was more of like a forest Santa. I liked that idea, but I really like this and I think this would be cute to do. Um, as little ornaments for like my mom and my grandma and uh, my husband's grandma. So um, I think I'm going to whip up a couple of those because um, he's so cute. I, I love it. Um, and maybe my brother because my brother has a slight obsession with Santa. <laughs> um, he does. He has a slight obsession with Santa. The other one that I love that's a little bit more intricate so I probably won't do it this year is this um, Angel by Tiny Modernist. Love it. So cute, so cute. So I picked up that, and this has a lot of really good patterns. There's a Frosted Pumpkins pattern right there, a seal in a snowflake, so cute. Um, there's the Santa, I love that Santa. Um, I love the buffalo. I'm a sucker for a good buffalo. So um, probably gonna do some of those this year. There was, I'm trying to think if there were any others that I was like, ooh, must do. Um, so there's that. And then the other one, this is an older issue. My Joann's has a lot of back issues of the World of Cross Stitching magazine, um, which is the UK magazine. Um, this is, I think, January 2020s. Um, I was looking for the Christmas one uh yeah the christmas one and what originally i wasn't gonna get this one but it has this gingerbread town that is used as an advent calendar in this but you could just do like uh, just these make them into ornaments or just do a village by itself but this is by doreen jones which is the same one as the cat and i've really fallen in love with her her designs I think they're just so cute super wide range of them and then the other one that I saw that I just oh man I saw it and just instantly fell in love it's right in the beginning somewhere where is it where is it no where is it it's coming it's coming okay here it is the swan how beautiful is the swan I I just love this and I think if and when I do this I would do the swan in white and then um, maybe do like this is being really ambitious here but doing two and so having a black swan and a white swan and maybe you like the black swan keep these flowers the same color and then the white swan change the color of the flowers but still do you know the same pattern and have a mirrored so like opposite and stuff I love this and I think it's so pretty um oh the other one that I was gonna do I'll probably do it next year is this one it says warm and cozy it's a little coffee mug super cute so um yeah so I was like you know what I wanted to pick this up to kind of get a feel for it if it was a magazine that I would consider um getting a subscription to or not um, oh, they also have these, a bunch of like holiday ones and, um, my grandma's side of the family is from Norway, Norway and Sweden, I think. 
Um, Scandinavia is basically, but it has this, this um, row of Nordic symbols and motifs. So I thought that would be cute to do one year um, as a gift maybe. So um, I, I really like this magazine. I wasn't sure what to expect. Has a lot of patterns. Um, this one, this one is adorable. <laughs> but that's a lot of brown. I ain't gonna do that much brown. No more, no more. That like that much color blocking, it goes by fast because it's just like one color, but then it also is so boring after a while. So it is what it is. So I really liked this. Um, I think after looking at all the magazines that I've gotten, so I got the Just Cross Stitch, this Christmas one, the two Halloweens, and then the Summer Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, which I am going to get the fall one and the winter one for sure. Um, I think I'll probably end up getting a digital subscription to Dress Cross Stitch and Punch Needle and Permanent Stitcher because you can also get a lot of the back issues with those when you do a digital subscription. So um, I'm thinking about doing that. So that's, that's all my updates. I told you this would be one jam-packed full of stuff. Um, plans, obviously I need to finish my Hello Dear part one because part two comes out on Monday. Um, it should, I should be able to finish it maybe with like a couple more days, a couple more nights of stitching. Cause all I have, you know, like I said, this, and then just, I think it's just a little bit right up here. Um, it doesn't go all the way down. So I should be able to finish it pretty quickly. Um, definitely before part two comes out. Then when part two comes out, I'll probably work on that and then um, start working on some other stuff. So uh, that's what I got. Um, if you have not seen the sneak peeks for the Frosted Pumpkins new year long stitch along, if it comes out tomorrow, go look it up. It is a Christmas wreath. I'm sold. I'm gonna buy the kit. I'm so excited. And so that'll be my first, my second stitch along that I do. Um, and it's a year long, so it's like you have a lot more time to work on it. Um, whereas this one, it started last Monday and it ends sometime before Christmas or around Christmas. So um, that's what I got and I'm very excited. Um, so I really like all the stuff I'm working on. And um, if you have any color combo suggestions for the Rick Rack for Sleepy Hollow, let me know. Comment down below, let me know. Um, and let me know what you're working on. Um, I love watching floss tubes and adding different patterns to my list of things to do. So tell me what you're working on so I can add it to my list. <laughs> um, all right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.